it's an end of the first quarter of 2025 and I personally don't see any signs of RTX 50 series laptops. Now normally I would suggest strongly to wait for new laptops to show up as one. You may get better hardware, the 50 series GPU at about the same price and two, the prices of 40 series current gen laptops will reduce. But some of you are actually in a need to buy a new laptop and can't really wait around. So here is my quick rundown on all gaming laptops with RTX 4060 under 1 lakh at the end of March 2025. Now, this is not an exhaustive list and there are many more laptops that can make this list. And these are just a few picks that I think can be considered. So forgive me if I missed some great ones. Mention them in the comments for everyone to see and let's go. Starting off with MSI, it has two laptops that caught my eye. First is the MSI Cyborg that has Ultra 7 155H series Intel GPU, which is the more powerful variant of Intel's new CPU lineup and is paired with RTX 4060, obviously. 16 GB DDR5 RAM at 4800 MHz and 1 TB Gen 4 NVMe. It has a good screen giving 15.6 inch IPS Full HD panel with 144Hz refresh rate but has a low color gamut of 45% NTSC and a low brightness of 250 nits. So not a good laptop for creative professionals requiring color accuracy. And it has OK ports with two Type A ports and one Type C port and has no SD card reader. It has a small battery of 53.5 watt hour and to my knowledge has no MS Office at all. It does however has four zones of RGB and has a plastic build giving that gamerly feel. All factors considered, this is a suitable choice for gamers only with a price tag of 95,000. And for my choice, it is a bit expensive for the features it gives. Next, we have MSI Thin with Ryzen 7 7735HS and RTX, you guessed it, 4060. A 16GB DDR5 RAM at 1TB Gen 4 NVMe, so performance-wise, it's gonna have no issues at all. It has the same screen as the previous MSI laptop, the 15.6-inch IPS panel, 45% NTSC color gamut, 215-inch brightness and 144Hz refresh rate. But it has better ports, giving three Type A ports and one Type C port, but no SD card reader. Similarly, a battery of 52. 4 watt hour, but due to Ryzen CPU, you can expect a much better battery backup than the previous one, but again, not too much. It has a plastic build, but has a single blue light keyboard and has a very clean look. I would consider this a good choice for office or professional work with gaming on the side with a price tag of 93,000. It is still a bit too expensive, but my choice from both of them is gonna be the MSI Thin due to a better battery backup. Next, we have HP Victus for all the HP fanboys. I say this as although this laptop has i7 13620H CPU, it does have a 16GB DDR4 RAM, not DDR5. I mean, it is priced at 91,000 with RTX 4060, but still using DDR4 RAM. A bit shameful on HP's part if you ask me, but it will still get the job done and give good performance. And it does not have a good screen. And the same 144Hz refresh rate, 45% NTSC color gamut, Full HD and 15.6 inch IPS panel. It has not so great ports either, with two USB Type A ports and one USB Type C port, but it does have an SD card reader. But it has a better 70 watt hour battery and has MS Office 2021 pre-installed. It has a good plastic build and has only white backlight, no RGB, and has a very clean look. I would rate this laptop as a balanced laptop for gaming and professionals. But for me, personally ddr4 ram is a deal breaker and of course how can we forget the beloved law while we're talking about the budget segment with rtx 4060 we have two variants one with ryzen 7 7435hs and the other with i7 13650hx with a difference in core count and admittedly intel will also perform slightly better but amd version will nonetheless deliver great performance now most of the specs of these laptops are similar like the same ram with a weird 24 gb ddr5 ram combination and it comes in 12 gb plus 12 gb configuration <laughs> yeah weird right and it's at 4800 megahertz the same 512 gb gen 4 nvme a good screen giving 15.6 inch ips panel with 144 hertz refresh rate 300 nits brightness and a hundred percent srgb color gamut seriously the first laptop on this list with a good screen for creative professionals as well both have same ports with three type a ports and one type c port and its type c port supports pd charging and display 
display port functionality as well but no sd card reader a same battery of 60 watt hour so don't expect much battery life from both but the amd version may be able to pull up a few more hours as amd cpus are more power efficient both come with ms office 2024 pre-installed and have a 1080p webcam and also it is probably the first laptop in this list to have a mux switch one prominent difference is that the intel version has four zones of rgb and the amd version has only white backlight keyboard and both laptops have that plastic built with a very clean minimalist look suitable for professional use as well this probably is the best laptop to buy with the good performance good screen good ports and a clean look but i personally would fall towards the amd version as it is considerably cheaper than the intel version and will provide a better battery backup and more stable performance the next on this list is asus a15 that comes with the ryzen 7 7435 hs just like the previous lock series it has 16 gb of ddr5 ram clocked at 4800 megahertz and come with a 512 gb and one terabyte version it also has a good screen with 15.6 inch ips full hd 144 hertz screen with a 100 percent srgb color gamut and and has a low brightness of 215 nits. Good ports giving two type A ports and two type C ports with the options of power delivery and display port functionality, which makes it the only laptop on this list to have two type C ports. It has the best battery of all laptops giving a 90 watt hour battery, which will give a huge advantage to this laptop in terms of battery life as it already has an AMD CPU, which are highly power efficient and combined with the 90 watt hour battery, you can rely on this laptop's battery to last for long time, which is only improved by the fact that it also has a mux switch which can further increase the battery life in regular usage it also comes equipped with ms office 2021 and has a 720p webcam it has a single zone rgb and fashions a metal build which is the only one in this list to have a metal body and looks of it lies somewhere between clean and gamerly i mean if you look at the top back side it may look clean but looking at the keyboard it's definitely gamerly so for 95,000, i would rate this laptop as a good deal which is suitable for working professionals as well as gamers with a good screen good performance good ports and a great battery backup the last on this list is asus's new series the v16 or 16x it has the new gen core 7 240h which lies below the ultra 7 on the hierarchy it does have an rtx 4060 gpu but has a low tdp of 65 watts only it comes with 16 gb ddr5 ram and a 512 gb gen 4 nvme it has an okay screen with 15.6 inch ips full hd panel with 45 percent ntsc color gamut and 300 nits brightness with 144 hertz refresh rate it has good ports giving two usb type a ports and one thunderbolt 4 port which is the only laptop on this list to have a thunderbolt 4 port which also has a power delivery and display port functionality it has a 63 watt hour battery which is average and might give good battery backup due to the core 7 low powered cpu and the low powered gpu and comes with a lifetime subscription of ms office and has a 1080p webcam it has only single color blue backlight keyboard and has a plastic build which is very clean like cleanest of all the laptops on this list which would suggest that this laptop was probably aimed at creative professionals who do not need that gamerly frills as it has a low power gpu low power cpu and a very clean look which is counterintuitive as it does not have 100 percent srgb color gamut if it is for professionals how do you think they're gonna grade the colors on it I mean, I would say, assuming that if this laptop is aimed at creative professionals, it at least the screen should be suitable for them, right? So this is the complete rundown of all laptops below 1 lakh that have an RTX 4060, all of which are either Ryzen 7 or Intel Core i7 or Core 7 or Ultra 7, basically the 7 CPU. My personal choice of all these laptops would be either Lenovo Lock with AMD version or Asus Tough A15 as they have the best price to performance ratio with good features, good performance, good ports, good screen and above all good battery backup. Now again, this is not an exhaustive list and there may be a lot of laptops that fall under this category and in different regions with different specifications. You might not have similar screen or ports on the same laptop in your region because come Companies make different laptops in different specifications and features in different regions to target different audiences. So tell me in the comment section what do you think is the best choice of all of them and see you in the next one.